the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 132, Job 8 to 10. Although your beginnings seem humble, feel that another friend of Job's also began to judge and condemn Job with black and white logic. Job expressed his innocence to God. First point, Bildad said that Job's children died because God is a righteous judge, but this was Bildad's folly. Next to speak after Eliphaz was Bildad. Bildad started to speak about God's righteousness and furthermore advised Job to repent. Bildad's advice and interpretations were similar to Eliphaz. Bildad claimed from the beginning that Job's thoughts were wrong. Bildad claimed that Job was going through suffering because he had sinned. Bildad furthermore stated that Job's children must have also sinned and were killed as a punishment. When your children sinned against him, he gave them over to the penalty of their sin. Even if this had been true, it was not Bildad's place to claim this. This was also the same in the case of Jacob. When he heard from his sons that Joseph had died, he tore his robe and cried out loud. Judah was also the same when his two sons died after God had killed them for their evil. Even when Judah knew that his sons were evil, he still could not stop feeling grief. Job had lost his children and had lamented. It was really long of Bildad to say this to Job. Second point, God does not accept Bildad's interpretation that Job's beginnings seemed humble but his future will be prosperous. Bildad told Job that although God had killed his children, if Job repented, then God would make his future prosperous. Later on, God rebuked Bildad for all these words. Bildad himself should have repented for saying this, rather than advising Job to repent. Bildad tried to console Job with such unsuitable words. Although he had been a friend of Job's for a long time, his words at this point only caused more pain to Job. The picture of God that Bildad painted was one who had a very low level of righteousness. Third point, to Bildad who spoke of God's righteousness, Job replied with God's wisdom, power, and forgiveness. Job spoke out to Bildad. Job compared God's grace to human injustice. Job moreover praised God who created the universe and showed humans grace. Job also accepted God's sovereign power. Job's fundamental thought was that it was God who gave and God who took away. Job claimed that he asked God for mercy in such a situation which he could not explain or fathom. Job expressed that he could not understand why the God of mercy and righteousness was causing him such pain. Job stated that he wanted the righteous God to carry out his trial. Fourth point, Job, who spoke to Bildad, now turned and spoke up to God. Job asked God, the Creator, why he was given such trouble. He added that if God was going to give him so much pain, he should not have put him on earth in the first place. I loathe my very life. Therefore, I will give free reign to my complaint and speak out in the bitterness of my soul. I say to God, do not declare me guilty, but tell me what charges you have against me. 
the more his pain deepened, the more he started to speak out to God. So did it please you to oppress me, to spurn the work of your hands, while you smile on the plans of the wicked? Do you have eyes of flesh? Do you see as a mortal sees? Though you know that I am not guilty and that no one can rescue me from your hand, Job expressed his anguish and started to curse his life and the day he was born. Despite this, Job believed that he lived under the sovereign rod. Fifth point, Job pleaded to God to end his suffering. Job said that he believed that God created him but something he could not get his head around was why the sovereign Lord was giving him such awful pain. Despite his pain, Job regarded God as his creator, the workers of your hands. You molded me like a clay. You clothed me with skin and flesh and knit me together with bones and sinews. You gave me life and you bring me out of the womb. Job was confused as to why he was suffering so much, whereas God was testing to see how he endured his test. The reason why God tests people is to ultimately bless them. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app. 